How's everybody doing? Welcome back to my channel. A different week, a different project, a new experience. A new <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> watch until the end to find the second clue of the scavenger hunt. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, watch the last video. This week I'm gonna do in another cover up. Shocker. <laughs> I will only be recording one of the cover-ups to better explain today's technique. Today is gonna be interesting because I haven't seen a lot of people do it and I'm gonna be covering up this lion, huge lion on this forearm with a portrait with only a round liner, no mags. So stay tuned, it's gonna get interesting. Make sure to comment down below what was your favorite part of this video because I will pick one of you to sell you some money and buy you a nice meal. Last week's winner was Mason. Thank you so much for your support. I appreciate it. <laughs> now, let's get this day started. My name is Kenny Smith. I'm originally from Orange County, California. And currently I've been in the military for the past nine years in the United States Army. I first started getting tattoos when I was 17, 18 years old, fresh into the military. The first couple tattoos I got were just tattoo shops right outside the military base. Didn't really have any reason or rhyme, I just wanted to get them. The first time I come up on uh, Mr. Reyes, it was a recommended YouTube video. And it was just this tribal that went from the shoulder to the chest. Um, it was about nine months ago and I was like, there's no way this man can cover this up. And I watched the video and I'm like, that tribal's gone. Um, no regrets on getting those tattoos, but as of right now, I want something new, something new to look at. I want to continue the art on my body. This week I invited my good friend Kenny Gonzalez to tell us his unique or funny story that happened to him while tattooing. Roll it! What's up guys, my name is Kenny Gonzalez. I'm a tattoo artist here at Innovative Inc. I've been tattooing for about three years. You hear the door chime, you know, here comes a client, so. Here we both greet him, ask him what he wants, and so he started asking him this weird questions, you know, all of a sudden, you know, he, you know, how far do you guys go for tattoos? And then the other artist right away threw me under the bus. He's like, oh, he's like, he got it quicker than me, you know, so he was like, Kenny specializes in that, I'll let him handle that. And he walked away, left me hanging, so I was like, oh, this guy. So at that point, I'm just like, all right. You know, now it's just one on one. Like, all right, let's get to the point now. What's going on? He's like, so I'm looking to get a tattoo. He's like, I want it in my right. I'm like, in private area. I'm like, yeah. He's like, he's like, but don't be alarmed. It's not what you expect. So I'm just like, okay, this is getting weirder. I'm like, what do you mean? It's not gonna be awkward for no one else. I'm like, why? You know, and that's when he's like, there's nothing there. I'm like, what? I'm like, this just freaking took a twist. I got it amputated, he's like, so there's only scarring. In my head, the whole time, I'm like, how do I get myself out of this? How do I get myself out? And then I just told him, I'm like, how long has it been? It's been about four months. I'm like, that's my ticket out. I'm like, all right. I'm like, at four months, it is way too soon for me to tattoo over that scar. I'll be more than glad to help you out with the situation. I'm like, but you have to give it at least a year to heal up properly. And then we can decide on what we do for you. And he left and sweat on my forehead. I, that was my weird story, awkward story, whatever you want to call it. Did you see it? Did he show you? No, 
I did not see it. <laughs> I didn't need no show and tell. <laughs> Thank you, Kevin Reyes, for having me in your video. Hasta rato, mi gente. <laughs> oh, yes, 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 yes. That was unique. I remember that story when we used to work at 7th Street back then. So thank you, Kenny, for telling us that unique story. It was interesting. <laughs> it doesn't happen on a daily basis. It just doesn't happen. Make sure to follow his Instagram and show his page some love. Like, comment, do all that. And if you see Kenny in person, give him a big hug. He deserves it. Going back, uh, getting my forearm tattooed again. Like I said, I haven't had these my forearms tattooed since I was 19. I got them all covered up then. So it was kind of a weird feeling getting them back tattooed after I thought I was never going to get them tattooed again. Um, parts did hurt around the wrist area and stuff. Make sure that if you're going to be using this technique, please, please, make sure that you are comfortable using gray tones and you are experienced enough to do it. This technique is unfortunately not for artists who are learning how to tattoo. If you are still struggling with needle depth, hand speed, or simply packing solid ink, I do not recommend you using this technique, not yet. execute the face, I'm going to be using my 14 round liner with a 5.0 voltage to give me the leverage to go in, pack it in without irritating the skin. Like I mentioned before, I use a lot of different methods to apply my gray tones. I might do little circles, I might drag my much, I might drag my needle, or I might do little scribbles all over the, the tattoo. But whatever you use, make sure you are persistent. Persistent. If for some reason there's a specific area where the gray tones are not covering up the tattoo, move on. Because you will... Because you will... <laughs> Hold on, I got it, I got it, I got it. Because you will scar the skin immediately, do not force it. It is better to do a second session. The reason why that might happen is because you might be using the wrong tone on the wrong area. And you might be wondering, how do I know if I'm using the right tone? And the answer is, you don't. That's what makes cover-ups really hard to do. They're very unpredictable, but what's, but, but what's really gonna help you is pure experience.
want you guys to pay attention to this to this part pay attention this is very important ready ready white does not cover up black ink use white only where it's needed Both of these tattoos took about three to four hours to do for a total of seven hours in two days. I thought uh, speed was key right here. Like I thought it was, I was expecting to be here six to 10 hours. I think all tattoos hurt, I'm not gonna lie. I have tattoos all over my body, from my stomach, to my back, to my arms. Um, I think they always hurt, but I think the pain is worth it for something that lasts a lifetime. If you guys are looking for any cover-up tattoos, hit up Mr. Reyes. This man knows what he's doing. Uh, I highly, highly recommend him, and I'm probably, probably most likely gonna come back and get more tattoos done by Mr. Reyes. I hope you guys are ready to find the second clue. This time, there will only be 10 business cards. Congratulations to you if you found the second clue because now you are closer on winning a 4x4 free tattoo. Make sure to take a picture at the place that you found this clue and DM me your photo. Yo, 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 it's Alex Costas here over here at Electric Haven Barbershop. Uh, my boy Kevin Reyes is doing a scavenger hunt. Uh, this is gonna be his second drop location. He's gonna have 10 cards here. You can get them on Saturday. I'll be here from 10 to two. That's your window to come get them. We're gonna have 10 business cards. First come, first serve. Come grab them to participate in a scavenger hunt and we'll hope to see you here. If you are an artist, I hope you found this video useful and you learned something new. And if you are a tattoo enthusiast, 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 I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys next week. Peace. Peace.